Welcome to Band vs. Band, where I asked you in the community section to give me a bunch of bands and I'm going to select the best one out of each. So one band versus another. As we play, uh, let me know down below which you would pick out of the two bands, which band is going to come out on top, win the fisticuff battle. Let's find out and get in with your comments, so let's go. I'll probably do it in different parts because there's a lot of comments, about 85 already, so let's just dive in. First one is by Vixera989. Clash of the Titans, Limp Biscuit versus Papa Roach. Right. <laughs> Battle the new metals now. Uh, might need a quick sippy before we answer this one. Hmm. I've seen both live more than once. I've seen both live twice. Um, <laughs> my honest opinion, Limp Biscuit wins this one. Just for the energy... Just, like, Break Stuff Live is just something you have to just experience. It's just one of the best live songs ever. And this is coming from, you know, a black metal fan. I've seen loads of death metal bands as well, but Limp Bizkit Live, don't, 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 don't knock it till you've tried it. It's pretty goddamn, pretty goddamn groovy. Uh, yeah, it's not Fred Durst Friday, though, so wait until Friday, then blast some biscuit. Can't go wrong. Next up is Pooyah, 1184. Alcest vs. Mayor Cognito, we've got a more serious one now. Um, two of my favourite bands, one in the more space-filled category, the other more, I don't know, I don't. I want to say atmospheric, um, but they're both atmospheric. But Alcest has been with me longer, uh, been with me from the start of my journey of black metal, um, and I love every album, and <laughs> there's vinyl like right there, like Kodama is vinyl somewhere else, um, I love it. It's got to be Alcest. As much as I like Mercum Neatum, you know, all the spacey stuff's amazing, and Wanderers is one of my favourite albums of all time, but Alcest has just been with me longer. There's a couple of others. Baffery versus Merciful Fate. Classic first wave stuff going on here. This is hard. I need, I need to think about this one. Baffery has, like, Bloodfire Death and Hammerheart. And Under the Sun of the Black Monarch, absolute classics. But Merciful Fate has, like, Don't Break the Oath, Melissa, Time. This is hard. If we're going with consistency, Merciful Fate wins. Because Baffery has some stinkers. Merciful Fate doesn't. So on that basis, although I love Baffery so much, but on that basis, I think Merciful Fate wins. Sorry. Druk versus Ahab. You know... You know me. Druk, atmospheric, Ukrainian black metal. My favourite black metal band of all time. Ahab, my favourite doom metal band of all time. Nautical Funeral Doom. Um, as you know, because I did a video recently, Ahab's now my favourite band of all time. So it's going to go to Ahab, but if it was against any other black metal band, Druk probably would win. Next up is Portal vs. Ulcerate. This is a dissonant uh, dance-off between these two joints. Portal's great, Vex Avoid. Um, really harsh and creepy and dissonant. But Ulcerate, I just feel, is stronger. I don't know. Everything is Fire is just a masterpiece. Staring to Death and Be Still was my album of the year. So I just like Ulcerate a bit more. I know I'm usually into more black metal, but... Oh, fuck it. Ulcerate wins. What we got next? George Angel. One on one says Paradise Lost versus My Dying Bride, Battle of the English Death Dooms. I love both. New My Dying Bride is going to be fantastic. Um, Ghost of Orion was great. Turn Loose at Swans is great. But I'm going with Paradise Lost. Yeah, they're a bit more hit and miss, but the albums that hit, I think they hit harder. And Draconian Times is bloody masterpiece. Gothic, masterpiece. Obsidian, the latest one. Is one of the best Death Doom albums of the past, like, ten years. I love Obsidian. So Paris Lost. And I saw Draconian Times in full. It's just magical. Rotting Christ vs. Septic Flesh. Greek battle off. Right, Rotting Christ. Amazing. Black metal band. Non-Servium. Thy Mighty Contract. A Triarchy of Lost Lovers. There's too many good albums. Um, Septic Flesh. Sumerian Demons. Oh my god, Septic Flesh has great ones. Codex, Omega. Um, this is hard. You got Symphonic Death versus Symphonic Black. 
Oh, no, I, not really symphonic for Rotten Christ, is it? I don't know what they are anymore, but... <sighs> if we're talking old school, Rotten Christ wins. If we're talking new school, Septic Flesh wins. So this is a stalemate. This is a fucking stalemate. I have to pick one, though. I guess, consistency-wise, Septic Flesh wins. Just because it, pretty much every single album is good. Rotten Christ... Some of the newer stuff, not big into. So if we're going by that basis, Septic Flesh would be the winner. Um, Dingleberry7593 says Marduk versus Dark Funeral. I like both bands. Swedish Black Metal, both fantastic. But Marduk, <laughs> Marduk wins easily. Uh, Memento Mori, the latest album, great. Panzer Division Marduk's one of my favourite albums of all time. Opus Nocturne, Nightwing, just front swing. Love them. But I still love Dark Funeral as well. Enslaved vs. Borknagar. Battle of the Progressive Black Metal Giants. Um, love Borknagar. Every single album's great. But Enslaved just smokes them. It just fucking smokes them. Like Frost alone. Below the Lights alone. Retir. Just every album is a 10 out of 10. Born God, every album's like eight or seven, whereas Enslaved has perfect albums, like literal perfect albums. So Enslaved. And then Sacramentum versus Lord Belial. Um, both underrated and both pretty good, damn good. You don't hear a lot of people talking about them. I know they're big names, but they don't really come up in conversation that much when it comes to Swedish black metal. But Lord Belial will take the cake. Kiss the goat. Um, Enter the Moonlight Gate, Unholy Crusade, it's just banger after banger. Uh, but Sacramentum is really good as well, so I like both of them. Next up is Make Foxhound Great Again. Uh, dragged into Sunlight versus Burzum, really weird mi uh, matchup. You got like the Black and Doom or Dragged into Sunlight, which I love, versus Burzum, the band that got me into black metal. Uh, we know where it's gonna go. <laughs> Burzum's winning. Uh, I love it. I, I love almost every album, a lot of the newer stuff I'm not big into, but love the Dungeon Simp stuff, love Belus, and that's fantastic, Fallen, underrated. So, yeah, Burza, easily. What else you got? Aaron Mertz says, Funeral Mist or Marduk? Both very good, again, Funeral Mist is a fantastic band, but Marduk is where my heart lies. Ferocious, just insanity. And some people say all the albums sound the same, but if you listen to Those of the Unlight next to Nightwing, they sound fucking nothing alike. If you put Memento Mori next to Plague Angel, they sound nothing alike. So yeah, Marduk. What else you got? Leviathan versus Lurker of Chalice. Again, more on the bleaker, darker evil side of it. Lurker of Chalice is fun, but Leviathan has temp sub-level, and that's literally my favourite DSBM album of all time. I love it, um, even though the creator says it's not. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. It sounds like it, so it is. So yeah, love Leviathan. Jamie Horsley. Hello. Yorzy cunt. Uh, McDonald's versus Five Guys. Not even bands, but who cares? Let's rank them. McDonald's. Cheap, easy... Uh, convenient, uh, you know what you're getting, you know, you pay for what you get, uh, it's never amazing, it's just there, versus Five Guys, where the burgers are better, come on, let's be real, the burgers are better, the milkshakes are better, the milkshakes are fucking fantastic at Five Guys, in fact, I think that's the best part of the menu, is the milkshakes, which is wild, um, the chips are just great in that peanut um, stuff they do it with. If, if it was going on taste alone, it'd be Five Guys easily. But um, price-wise, that costs an arm and a leg. Also a downside to Five Guys is always after I eat it, I feel sick. Like, I always feel sick eating Five Guys. Like, after it, I just feel like I've just too much. It's too much food. Whereas McDonald's, I'm always, I could eat more. You know what I mean? Well, I guess you're paying for what you get, but it's, it seems extortionate. So I'm kind of weighing it up. Kind of weighing it up. If it was like right now, like what would I rather go to? Probably McDonald's. You know, I'm gonna be basic bitch and say McDonald's is gonna win. You know, I will because I don't feel sick after eating it. It's not just covered in like so much grease and just 
it's I don't know, it's sickly after you eat it. It's nice during it, but then afterwards is fucking horrible. Um, and just 20 chicken McNuggets, you know? Fucking, I love my chicken tendies. So there you go, Jamie. Picking the basic bit, Jobson. Uh, what we got next? Sander, 5089, Power Wolf versus Sabaton. This is an interesting one. Both similar sound. More mainstream power metal stuff. I've seen them both live and they're both great. Um, I know they get a lot of hate, but whatever. Live-wise, is different. <sighs> I go go with Power Wolf. Um, just the songs are better to me. Like, his voice is better. Um, when he does the live thing where he's like, oh, and the whole crowd's singing along. So good. I love the theming better, werewolves and stuff. Vampires are cooler than war. You know, every, every, I'd rather listen to Marduk for war. Or fucking Minenwerfer. But yeah, uh, Power Wolf is just the, I think, the better musicians. <laughs> and they have a song called Resurrection by Erection. So it's got to be Power Wolf. What we got next? Let's have a look. Ooh. Nick Odem says, Satanic Warmaster versus Sargeist. This is an interesting one. Finnish bands. Ooh. Satanic Warmaster versus Sargeist. Sargeist let the devil in. Amazing. So many good albums. Satanic Black Devotion. But Satanic Warmaster has the riffs. And just... Amon Gonda. One of the best albums recent memory. It's got to be Satanic Warmaster, right? Carillion, Satanist Madness. Hell fucking yeah. Um, I'll do one more in this episode and then we'll split it for another episode. Mighty Kaiser 8058 says Satanic Warmaster versus Grand Belial's Key. I'm gonna go with Grand Belial's Key. I know I love Satanic Warmaster, but the riffs in Grand Belial's is just fucking mind blowing. I love them so much. Graveland versus Peste Noir. Um,. Hmm. This is, again, a hard one. I love both. I'll probably go with Peste, though, just because they're a bit more interesting. I love Graveland, though. Carpathian Walls, one of my favourite albums. Thousand Swords, amazing. I've been binging them recently, actually, for a ranking. Uh, but then I got sidetracked, and I'm doing Psy instead. But yeah, uh, Peste. And what else got? Caveum versus Absurd. Probably, I don't know how to pronounce it, Caveum for that one. And Nocturnal Mortem versus Hate Forest. This is a hard one. Both these bands I love. Both these bands are fantastic. Hate Forest, Innermost, such a good album. Um, Battlefields, Scythia, just Purity is my favourite. But it's got to be Nocturnal Mortem, right? It's got to be. It's, it's got to be. Um, Goat Horns, Masterpiece. Uh, Lunar Poetry, Masterpiece. Voice of Steel, masterpiece. It's, it's Nocturnal Morton, easily. Um, I'll do one more. Nocturnal Spectre. He says Leprous versus Hacken. I like both, both proggy, but I pr way prefer Hacken. Um, or Haken, however the fuck you say it. Um, Leprous is the earliest stuff is great, bilateral, masterpiece, but the latest stuff is just poppy. I'm kind of like, eh. Whereas Haken just is fantastic all throughout the career. And last but not least, Ishan. Versus Devon Townsend, only the solo stuff. So no Emperor, no Devon Townsend project, or like strapping you on ladder shit. <sighs> I, I'm gonna go with Devon. I love Devon's solo stuff. It's just magical, magical. And Devon's just a great guy. I love Ishan's cool too, uh, but I prefer Emperor to his solo stuff. So there you go. Those are some band versus bands. I'll get onto the next comments in a future video. So yeah, sit tight for that. Let me know what you'd pick out of each band down below. And if you prefer McDonald's or Five Guys, let me know down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.